Okay, so this is the second part of our walkthrough today. We're going to get into VBS Finance. So I'm going to just let me move my little Zoom window out of the way here. VBS Finance, boom. So this is another one of those high yield APY projects that um, Kurt mentioned a couple of Thursdays ago now. Um, and we've just been doing some test transactions and getting to these projects. So I'm going to do a walkthrough in case you want to follow along. VBS Finance is a project which is on the crypto.com network. So in a previous recording that we did, we showed you how to add that network. I'm gonna click on my MetaMask up here to show it to you. This will be the Kronos mainnet. If you, if you were with us the last time that we added all of the networks, we added every network that we're gonna use in for the next few months. So today we're using the Kronos network. If you do need that recording, just reach out to me and I'll show you how to add the different main nets as well. We have a recording on that as well. Okay, so what I did earlier today is I went to my crypto.com app. It's on my phone. I use it as an on-ramp strictly for myself. So I went to crypto.com and I bought some CRO token. When you're in the crypto.com app, when you go to withdraw, it's going to ask you which network do you want it on? Do you want it on the CRO network? No. The ERC20 network? Nope, that's Ethereum. So that would be expensive. Or the Kronos network? Yes. So when you withdraw from crypto.com, after you've bought CRO, you're going to send it over to your MetaMask using that same address up here at the top. Once you send that over, and it didn't take that long, it took less than five minutes for me. I sent some CRO over from crypto.com, it landed in my MetaMask and I was ready to go. So once you have your CRO inside of your MetaMask, you can come to CoinGecko and you can type in VVS Finance. This is the project we're gonna be working with today. I came right up here to the website and I, everything I do, I navigate directly from CoinGecko. That way I'm being sure that I get the official website. So you can click on VVS Finance and it'll open up a brand new window for you. What you're gonna do when you first come here, you're gonna see connect wallet. If you're having any trouble connecting your wallet, it's just because you're on the wrong network. All you have to do to resolve that is click on the little MetaMask face up here and switch to the Kronos mainnet that you added in. And again, if you need that walkthrough again, I can send that to you as well. So once your wallet's connected and you're on the Kronos network and you see your CRO tokens in your wallet, Here's the next steps. You're gonna come down here to trade now, okay? Once you connect your wallet, move my Zoom stuff out of the way. Once you connect your wallet, you're gonna see this here. It's gonna to default to swap. This is what you're gonna to need to do initially just to get into some of the projects so you can stake and get the APY. And just to show you what some of those project options are, you would come to the earn tab. Anything you do on this site, you're gonna need another token to pair it with. And you can easily obtain that by swapping on a site, but I'm just letting you know. So you're like, okay, I need two things. So you have your CRO in here and then you'll swap for the other thing. And you'll pair those two things together to earn your rewards, okay? This is a DeFi site. What we're talking about now is liquidity providing, okay? We're pooling two tokens together to provide liquidity and earn things back in return. And that's what we're doing. So the options are you can pair CRO with pretty much anything in here. If you wanted to spend that way on the gig away on ETH, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> As you can see, I already have an active CRO and VBS pool. VBS is the project that Kurt was talking about. So when you come here, it should be the fourth one down. But in order to participate with this, you have to do the swap tab first. So we're gonna back up. In case you're on this page, you're like, oh, where do I go? Come up here and click trade. And I'll take you right back to this same swap page. So however much CRO you have in your wallet, you only want to do 50%, okay? Anytime you're liquidity providing, you need an equal amount of both things that you're putting together so they can be balanced and you can stake them together at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay, you want an equal amount, an equal dollar amount of each thing to stake it together. So for me, in this example, I'm gonna just hit 50% of whatever the remaining balance I have. So this will take half of the CRO that I bought from crypto.com and convert it into whatever the second project I want. In this example, we're gonna do VVS. 
So for me, I came over here to CoinGecko. I copied this contract code just to be sure that I'm getting the correct token. Okay. So I copied this contract code, came back to this website, and I pasted the contract code up here. It'll automatically populate the correct token when you do that, because you always want to be sure you're getting the right token. Then you can hit enter. Okay. And it'll populate it right down there. And again, you already said you only want to get 50% of your CRO and you're going to hit swap. Okay. And then it's just going to give you some basic information. Say, do you want to swap? And you're going to say, yes. There we go. So your MetaMask window will pop up up here and then it'll ask you, do you want to spend this much? So it only cost me 48 cents to swap about 20 bucks worth. So I'm going to hit confirm. Those fees are so beautiful. So beautiful. So transactions submitted. Personally, I wait until my transactions are done. They may take as much as 30 seconds. As you can see, this one just finished in about six. So good. Perfect. I can close that window out now. And so now what I have, what I've done thus far, half of my balance is in CRO and the other half is in VVS. Perfect. So what I can do now is come back up to this trade window. Oh, sorry. Go to the main page, main page. Um, and then go to trade now. Oh, liquidity. There we go. You're going to click the liquidity tab up here because now what we have to do is provide liquidity. There we go. And we're going to make a pool. We're going to make a liquidity pool with the two tokens that we just bought. So I'm going to hit add liquidity. I'm going to select my CRO. And then I'm going to select my VVS that I just purchased. So the trick to this is making sure you choose the one that um, has the smaller balance because you want to make sure it's equally weighted. For myself, let me see. If I hit max, it looks like I can um, stake all of my VVS and have a little bit of CRO over, which is what I want. I still want some CRO left behind for fees, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and hit supply. It's going to say, I'm going, I'm going to get some CRO and VVS pool tokens. That's what we need in order to earn that high yielding APY. So I'm going to hit confirm supply. Okay, it's going to pop up my wallet again. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. So 74 cents to stake this. Okay, confirm. Transaction submitted. And if it doesn't go through for any reason, what it is is that you need more CRO. So you can just scale back on how much you're pooling. Okay, good. So it says it went through. Perfect. So recapping thus far, you came to the site, you hooked up your wallet, you had some crypto.com coin CRO in your MetaMask. Okay. You swapped half of that for another token. In this case, it was VVS. And what we just did was provide liquidity. What that means is we put both of those tokens into the site, about an equal amount of them. And what we received in return was an LP token. What we're going to do now, the final transaction we need to go do is put that LP token into the high yield pool. And once you've done that, you're done. Okay. So what we can go do now is go to the earn tab. So you're going to click on earn. And that's where I was earlier. You're going to come down here to this, this pair that you have, CRO versus VVS. As you can see, I've already staked, but what you're going to see here is going to say supply or something similar right there. And you're going to click that button that will be sitting right here. Since I've already contributed it, I can add to that. So for myself, I can hit this plus sign and it's going to say how many more LP tokens do I want to stake? All of them. <laughs> so I'm going to hit max and then I'm going to hit confirm. There we go. Then my little MetaMask will pop up again. Okay, there we go. It's telling me it, I got a little 56, 56 cent fee to stake that money. I hit confirm. And I'm gonna wait for my transaction to go through. Takes about 20 seconds or so. And then once that's done, it'll tell me what's staked. There we go. All of my funds have been staked into the farm. So I'm done at this point. I know that may have seemed a little involved, but that's what most DeFi actions will be like when you liquidity provide. If y'all remember when we Sora farmed, we had to get some Sora, we had to get some Val, we had to pull them together, then we had to stake it. Same thing, you had to get some CRO, you had to get some VVS, 
you had to pull them together and then you staked it. So it's four actions total that you did. Anyone have questions, feel free to unmute, please, if you're stuck. And I'll definitely tag y'all on the um, network videos. Feel free, feel free. I'm gonna stop the recording here.